Hello, it's me. I'm back and it's summer and I'm here home in Sweden. Uh, I will cut to the chase quite quickly and give you an example of how I use Obsidian to do knowledge work on an important subject, meaning understanding the brothers Karamazov. Enjoy. Hello. Here's an example of an obsidian vault that I built uh, for my main interest privately, and that's understanding the book, The Brothers Karamazov. I just started using this, so don't complain that there's not enough <laughs> material. To the left, I have uh, folders and files, for example, about the main characters. Alyosha, the hero of the book. Uh, and Alyosha's relationship to others. So you go through these. I've added a transcription of a Harvard course on the Brothers Karamazov. Uh, I took care of this, meaning that I can learn a lot from both one at Harvard and one at Berkeley. Then I have added uh, the transcripts. There are a lot of people who uh, engaged in John Bavakis Awakening from the Meaning Crisis and transcribed that. And um, I paid to download this and to, to use it myself. And then you can w watch the videos as well. And that's because Awakening from the Meaning Crisis uh, contains a lot of existential thoughts, including nods to, you know, Dostoevsky and whatnot. So it's extremely good. And then a really good plugin, that's for Readwise. So Readwise is a platform that allows you to connect to Kindle, to Pocket, to Instapaper, which is what I use, which means that you can tag any source podcast, site, page, anything, and annotate and just select what you want. And it will collect it and sync it to your library in Obsidian. So articles, for example, you know, highlights about something you find important. You have books, for example, where you see the highlights that I've noted in using Kindle and so on. And you can add tweets and more, meaning that you have everything you really need in one place. And then you can start to build the relationships between it. Uh, for example, you can see, and this is the whole, whole, you know, you can see, now I've added um, the whole world. So I've added, of course, all the 50, 50 um, episodes of Awakening from the Meaning Crisis. So they are here as well. And I need to start to interlink link those to the characters and the storyline and so on. But you can already now see that there's a lot going on here. Uh, and this is a way for me to work in line with how my brain kind of works. It jumps between subjects very quickly and I need to build this kind of holistic understanding of it instead of using databases. I like they do in Notion. I like Notion. It has certain strengths, but Obsidian is much more to my liking. So please experiment and share what you have done. And we'll see where we end up.